An easier model for rendering is the pinhole camera. With a pinhole camera, you put a piece of photographic film at one end of a box and poke a hole in the other end. Then you cover up this hole. You do this in the dark so that the film is not exposed to light. Of course, just about no one uses film anymore, but I'll assume you have some idea how camera film works. To take a photo, you point the camera, open the hole for a short amount of time, then go back to the dark room and develop the film. With a pinhole camera, the light coming in from one direction is detected by a single location on the flat rectangle of the film. Put these differing light contributions together and you get a picture. Most cameras work the same way. They may have more complex lens systems, but they gather light in a similar manner, with the image projected behind the lens. We often simplify and think of our eyes as elaborate cameras that send images directly to our brains. It's better to think about the eye as part of our visual system, since ultimately it's the brain's interpretation of the data that matters.